Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at viewports and how to thaw and freeze layers and objects in a specific viewport or in multiple viewports, but not affect the rest of your drawing. Today's tip was suggested by my friend Tim at work. He's a land surveyor and fellow CAD and Civil 3D user, and this is a great one that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so as I mentioned, there's a few different ways you can freeze and unthaw layers in your viewports and only your viewports. So you can see in our case here, we have three different viewports set up. And in some cases, you may want to show specific items in only a specific viewport or simply not show them in any of your viewports, but you'd like them in your model space and drawing regardless. All right, so the first method we're gonna take a look at is the VP layer command. Now you're gonna to wanna to activate one of your viewports, the one that you'd like to adjust or freeze layers in. I'm gonna use this large one here and you're gonna type in VP layer. Now from here, you've got quite a few options. You're gonna be able to change the color, line type, line weight, transparency, or freezer thaw any specific layer and it's only going to affect this viewport. So changing the color of lines or line weights is kind of a nice feature since it's only going to affect this view and not another view. In our case, we're going to use the freeze and thaw today. So we're going to freeze a specific layer. It's going to ask you when you choose freeze to either enter the layer name or hit enter to select an object. So I'm gonna hit enter, and now you can simply go around and choose the layers you would like frozen. So I'm gonna freeze my window layer as well as that sink there. Hitting enter is going to freeze those once I choose my viewport. So I can choose this viewport, the current one, or I can choose all or select a specific one. In this case, and in this part, we're gonna just hit enter for the current one, and hit enter again. Now you can see that it has now frozen all of those objects on the uh, window and block layer in this viewport, but it has not done that in these viewports. All right, so let's run through that one one more time and I'm gonna show you a few different options along the way. So we're gonna type in VP layer and you can see in this uh, example, we have not selected a viewport yet. We're gonna hit enter here and we're gonna to choose to freeze an object or a layer. And this time we're gonna type in our layer name. We're gonna type in the text layer since I wanna freeze the text in one of these viewports. And now it's gonna ask me to choose which viewport I'd like to freeze the text in. And I'm gonna do it in this one over here. So we're gonna use the select option and we're gonna choose this viewport and hit enter and enter. You can see that the room label text has now disappeared. So that layer is frozen and the text is gone, but it's not affecting this border or this viewport over to the right. Now, another cool feature of the VP layer command, we're gonna type in VP layer and hit enter, is this question mark at the start. By choosing the question mark, it's gonna allow you to then select a viewport and if you hit F2 here, it's going to tell you what's been done to it using the viewport layer freeze command. So you can see the current layers frozen in viewport three, which is this viewport over here, are the appliances and DB windows layers. Now this is super useful if you're not sure why something isn't showing up in a viewport. Running this command and just hitting that question mark is going to check it and give you an output telling you which layers are turned off. Now if you've got a huge layer list you can simply go right to the layers you know are turned off and unthaw them up here or freeze or thaw more additional layers. Now, the same method that we've just gone through can be used for changing out the color or line weight of these layers in a specific viewport. But I'm going to jump to the next option and the second way you can quickly freeze and thaw layers within your drawings and viewports. And that's by using the layer freeze command or this button up here, freeze. And what you want to do is activate a viewport first 
and then choose freeze. Now down on the bottom here, hitting settings and then viewports is gonna allow you to double check that viewport freeze is the setting that is turned on. This is when, by default, when you activate your viewport and click the freeze button, it's going to default to the viewport freeze setting. So now we can simply go through and choose layers by clicking and it's going to freeze them as you choose them. If you go to freeze your current or zero layer, it's gonna ask you to confirm that like mine here. I'm gonna say yes and confirm. So you can see I've gone through and frozen a handful of layers just by clicking really quickly. Now this is a fast way to do this, but it may not be the most accurate. And if you want specific layer names, using that VP layer command is gonna give you a lot more options and uh, customizability. But if you're looking for just a quick and easy, the single clicks of using the layer freeze button is an easy way to go. And then lastly, you can do all of this as well through the layer manager or layer property manager window here. By bringing this out, you can see all of the layers within your drawing. And by activating a layer, you can simply freeze it uh, using the VP freeze column here. So in this case, we wanna freeze the windows. You would go over to here and simply freeze it. This is also a great way to turn on or check which layers are frozen. So you can see once I've activated this drawing, these are going to update with what's frozen on this viewport in particular. Unfreezing this text here is gonna bring that back on and unfreezing our windows is gonna bring that one back on. If we choose this viewport over here, you can see that the viewports freeze icons have changed and updated to this viewport. Now again, we can simply turn all of these back on to bring everything back into our drawing and it's as simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these tips and you want to learn more AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals, don't forget to check out my course, which is available now for instant download. I'll put that link down below as well as up above. It's discounted for viewers and subscribers by using that link. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.